All right, every time I do these and I put them on social media, I get comments that they're a waste of time, but I feel like if you're watching this, you're gonna appreciate it. Hey, I'm Becca with The Happy Ever Crafter, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step through how I decorate my bubble mailers when I'm shipping something out. So pretty much every time I ship out a package, which is usually for a giveaway, something that people either want on this channel by watching or on my Instagram channel. Today it is my calligraphy workbooks. Somebody won a set of these and my pens. So I'm packing them into this mailer. Every time I send out some sort of giveaway package, I always wanna decorate the envelope because I feel like the type of people who win stuff from me are people who appreciate it. But I always, always get comments from strangers who say that it's a waste of time because they're gonna get thrown out anyway and there's no sense in doing it and blah, 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 blah. But I feel like if you're on this channel, you know why this is appreciated. And I feel like in my head, this makes people's day. Imagine getting a mailer like this in the mail instead of just a crappy, boring envelope right? It's so much cooler. So anyway, I'm going to take you through how I like to decorate them. This is kind of my go-to design and you can feel free to snag it. So this is just uh, an envelope that I picked up at, I think the dollar store, this one. I, I'm kind of one of those people where if I see a cool envelope somewhere, I just buy it and then uh, keep it in my closet for someday when I know I'm going to need to ship something. I'm also using a Sharpie oil-based pen. Uh, you can use whatever you want. You could use even just a Sharpie permanent marker. I just like that a paint pen has like a little bit of sheen to it. Also, I do not recommend using a water-based pen because if, if it gets rained on or if it gets scratched, it's gonna come off. Oil-based is really nice and durable or you could use acrylic-based or anything like that, but Sharpie oil is kind of my go-to. This piece of glass is just for um, pushing down my paint pen to make sure it's running really well, but I'm just gonna jump in and show you my steps of how I do this. If you've never used a paint pen before, just um, just know that you need to like make sure it's really juicy before you use it. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, so first thing I usually do is draw a cute little banner at the top. I have two different tutorials here on YouTube for how to draw these, but you can literally just follow along with exactly what I'm doing here. If you feel like you need to pause the video to copy exactly what I've drawn, go for it. Just pause the video and then restart. So I started with that squiggly line and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some straight lines coming off each of those points. So these should all be roughly the exact same length. And then on this last one, I'm gonna continue the front of the banner piece and I'm basically mimicking the piece that's over top of it and adding another squiggle and then closing it off and adding this little flag thing at the end. Then I draw more straight lines on all these little overlapping squiggles. And I continue each of the front banner pieces to finish them off. I'm basically just mimicking exactly the shape of the top piece and each of these should be the exact same size. And then I draw the flag on the other end and I've got my banner drawn. Again, I know this is a little bit overwhelming if you've never done it before, so feel free to pause as many times as you need to. Next, I'm gonna write my words, and I like writing please deliver to, but you can write whatever you want. Like if you want to write, you know, happy mail for, or whatever else you wanna write, but I like writing please deliver to, I just think it's cute. So I'm just doing this in really simple block letters and trying to space them out evenly. If you feel like you need to practice this, um, on paper a few times to make sure that the the spacing is gonna work out properly, you can do that too, but I'm pretty comfortable with this. I've done it a billion times. Then I'm also gonna add a little bit of contrast with some extra little lines here on my banner. You can decorate your banner however you like. You can color it in totally black if you want. You can do whatever you want, but I like the way this looks. And there you have it, that's the banner part. So the next thing I'm gonna do is write the person's name. And truthfully, I don't usually write the first and last name, I just write the first name because I'm gonna also have a shipping label on here and it's gonna go on the back. So I'm not super concerned with um, having both names because the post office is really just gonna look at the shipping label anyway. This is just for decoration. So this is for Linda. I'm just gonna write Linda, I'm not even gonna write her last name. The fun thing about bubble mailers too is that they 
um, often have these little dots on them. So you can use it as a grid that actually helps you keep your writing pretty straight. But regardless, I usually kind of just jump in and don't worry too much about what this looks like. Um, I don't really do a rough copy. I just kind of jump in and play with it and add it, add to things as I need to, to make it more filled up or to change things up and make it kind of fill out the whole envelope. So once I've got Linda's name, I am obviously going to write her address. And this is personal preference, however you want to do it. You could center it under the name Linda, but I actually really like having it based on the name itself. So in the word Linda, the L is giving me this perfect space at the end of it to continue on that line and add her address. So I'm actually going to do it left justified off the end of this L here. So again, I'm using the dots on the envelope as my guidelines, and I'm just filling in her address here in block letters. Left justified makes it really easy. You don't have to worry about centering or anything. Um, and I'm just, again, jumping in and adding things as I go. Um, before anyone comes at me in the comments and tells me that I shouldn't be publicizing Linda's address, I'll be honest with you, this is a fake address. I'm gonna make two of these. The other one will have Linda's proper address. This is not actually it. So before you go sending Linda mail, just know that this is fake for the purposes of this demonstration. Okay, so like I said, this is my go-to design, but it's up to you if you wanna add more. For me, I wanna add a little pencil here or a brush pen actually, because I think it's gonna look really cute just kind of like on the angle right here, but I'm just going to jump in and freehand this and hope it turns out well. If you don't really feel comfortable with that, just leave it how it is. This looks great too. Okay, so I do really like the way that that turned out, but my arm smudged some of my writing onto the bottom here as I was doing it. So quick note, depending on what type of envelope you're using, because this one is plasticky, I can actually remove it. So I'm just using alcohol, which removes oil-based pen, and I'm just going to rub it on here. I gotta rub pretty hard because I already let it dry for too long. But usually if you do this right away, it's not a big deal. Now, if you did this on a paper envelope, obviously you can't fix it. So you'd have to use your artistic imagination to maybe draw something else over top of it or whatever. But that's it. There is my finished envelope for Linda. And there you have it. That's how I decorate my bubble envelopes. This is, again, my go-to design, but you can do whatever you want. Just have fun with it. And also, don't worry too much about what it looks like. As long as everything fits on there, you're good to go. And it's going to be over the moon exciting to people, no matter how it looks. So I hope you enjoyed this. I would love to see it. If you create one, tag me on Instagram at the happy ever crafter, but I would love it if you would also hit like on this video if you enjoyed this and I'm gonna link you to another fun crafty video next and I'll see you over there.